hi uh, in this video we will uh, we will look into how to create the portfolio uh, grid pages using the short code module within the page builder so uh, i'm going to tell how to create pages like this like the portfolio grid pages like this so uh, I'll create a sample page This page, this grid, uh, portfolio grid will be created using the portfolio shortcode within the page builder. So before you make any changes within the page builder, you need to publish the page. So I have just published the page. You need to click this add uh, button to have the modules uh, so that you can see all the modules within the page builder so we uh, we have provided uh, three different portfolio modules for the three different styles that uh, you can create so one is for the box layout the other is for the full width edge to edge without the gutter spacing and the third one is for full width uh, with gutter spacing so the first one is called the portfolio which is here so uh, these are the basic options that you can uh, use to set use to configure how your portfolio grid will look like so the first option is the number of columns uh, you can choose the number of columns in the grid you want to see the second option is whether or not you want to have a filterable portfolio so when i say filterable portfolio it means whether you want to see this this filter here so here in the demo it's filtered based on category so what you see is the different categories here and when you click on any one of those you will be able to see the portfolio posts that belong to only that category so the option here is to uh, is to enable or disable this filter so if you say no this section will not be visible here so i'll show you both ways for now we will have it yes and the third category is the filter that you want to use so as I said here the filter is based on the category alternatively you can have the filter based on tags as well so if you have a if you have chosen the filter to use to be category you have an additional option to pick and choose just a specific category in the page so if you choose just mobile here your page will show only the portfolio posts that belong to that category by default if you don't check any of these we will be pulling all the portfolio post types uh, based on the number of items that you specify here the next option is to enable or disable masonry layout if you check this option the masonry layout will be enabled the next option is for the number of items per page uh, the next one is pagination style we have a uh, three pagination style or uh, basically two uh, one is if you say none all the portfolio items will be loaded as the page refreshes the next one is the infinite scrolling um, which will load the portfolio items as and when you scroll the last one is load more which will give you a load more button at the end of the page if you click on it the other portfolio items will be uh, loaded the last option is uh, thumbnail overlay color so if you see in the demo if when I hover over the thumbnail images you see a color overlay so the option here is to choose the color for the overlay by default uh, we'll set up the uh, themes color scheme here you can anyway go and change if this is a color picker here you can go and give the color code that you need so I'm going to submit the short code so the page has been saved now we will view the page so, 
so you have chosen you have chosen the filter you have chosen all filters to be seen and this is a box layout with cut and because we chose infinite scrolling so this is how it will do as and when you scroll the rest of the items will be loaded so this is about the box portfolio so the next option will be full screen portfolio full width portfolio for that you have to choose this short code full width portfolio the options in the back end are almost the same the number of columns the filterable portfolio in this case i will give no so that you can see how it looks and the filters to use category so we will pick a couple of uh, categories alone and we will have a load more button Additionally, uh, when you use a full width portfolio, if you uh, to make it look uh, to make it occupy the entire screen width, you have to uh, you have to also configure the row settings. So the short code will have sections, rows, and columns. So it's the row setting that we have to modify for a full full width portfolio. So if you click on that button which opens the row settings, you have an option called No Wrap. So you have to check this no wrap, which will uh, not wrap the container to the uh, to the actual content space, but will uh, but the content will occupy the entire screen. So I'm I'm checking that option and clicking on some, and the changes are saved. So this is the full screen portfolio that we just the sh the short code that we just added. So you see because it's no wrap, it occupies from end to end, and we gave three column. So it's three column, and you have a load more button. Clicking on the load more button, the rest of the portfolio items will be loaded. But here there it was just twelve, so I think it's not. So the last option. Is full width with gutter. So even because the even this one, it because it's a full width, you have to check the no wrap on submit, and you will be using this short code. It says full width portfolio gutter. So the, all the other options are the same. So this is the full with without cutter, and this is the full with with cutter. So if you see the cutters. Spacing between the portfolio. So this is with the portfolio shortcode. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy the theme. Thank you.